Hey man, it's the IQ guy, the ice. So God sensei man. Now listen up, I'm finna bring you the best lockdown build, the most safest best lockdown build, 100% the best lockdown build going into NBA 2K21. Cause pure locks, man, it's too risky to make them, especially in the beginning of the year, before people find the cheese and all that five shooting badges shit, all that. This is the safest, best lockdown build that will have 99 speed, 99 acceleration to guard ball, to stop centers, do all that crazy shit, right? Contact dunks, Hall of Fame playmaking, and Hall of Fame defense. This is the best for the twos, the threes, pro-am, etc. my boy. I'm gonna show you a slight variation, but yeah. So yeah, man, make sure y'all watch this full video. Do not skip, and make sure y'all subscribe if you new, my boy. 300K on the way, like the goddamn video. And subscribe if you want me to uh stream 2k21 i just got that hoe you know i get streaming on another channel or something i might post a community post let me know if y'all want to see that down in the comments and turn on them post notice my boy but look so here we go so we are going to go with pg for this lockdown build for shooting guard you get less badges less speed you know um, and probably like 20 more attributes for a shooting guard. For small forward, you get a lot less badges and only like 20 more attributes or like maybe maybe it's even less. I don't know, but it seems like point guard is the wave for the lockdown to guard ball and comp. This is the best overall meta build that I think will last throughout the year so far. If pure locks don't come and also I, I got a I got a, a sharp lock those are even safer than this like if you're ass like you make a sharp lock because it's easier to shoot you can still guard ball but they're not gonna be as fast so but if you want to guard the cheesers especially since the behind the back out boy you, you, you gonna need this one <laughs> you feel me but I got you my boy so we're gonna go with this pie chart probably the hardest build to make this year would be lockdowns because they have so many different um not the hardest you just don't know because there's so many different variations right of the what could be that wave you know like this one for instance like you know you get gold shooting right but like you know hey man I, I don't know but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about all that in another video but for this particular build we're gonna go with this so we're gonna go with the speed pie chart because you know we're gonna be up in the wingspan all that type of stuff raising his height now you can go with the vertical right you know still you'll get decent speed but you're not gonna be as fast but the point of this build is to guard the cheesers the toxic comp stuff so you're gonna want to go with this build or this pot this physical pot <clears throat> now personally okay so you can you can you can switch this up for you right so for me personally here's why i did this you could go less shooting but you don't know how shooting is gonna change throughout the year so i go i went ahead and went with 11 shooting especially since we're gonna be maxing the wingspan and stuff um i want finishing so for like the alley-oops the cuts um just driving being a secondary ball handler that most likely is going to be able to speed boost stuff like that you know i want finishing to be able to help my team out you know, I, I think that's very vital. Um, a lot of people keep making builds with no finishing. I don't, uh, I don't know, bro. That's not my style. Especially since, since they say they they buffed um, paint defense and stuff. But um, playmaking, now you could go less playmaking, right? But um, I'm going to be able to run floor general, dimer, stuff like that. You could go less playmaking and put more, you know, defensive like like this. You could do something like this, then you get 23 badges. It's up to you. But me personally, me personally, I'ma rock this, man. I could rock out with 20 badges, my boy. You know I upgraded the interior. Interior is extremely important for playing defense in the paint, bro. I promise you, bro. I played with lockdowns last year. Every time they had no interior, they couldn't get stops. 
Like they they were just getting killed by park bums. They're supposed to be comp stage players, just garbage, right? Um, for some reason, um, one of my locks, I had no interior on him. My two-way pass for his point, but I could still get stops. I guess my reactions are just better, and I don't know. But yeah, so I think this is the best version so far. Burly, you are going to want to make your guy burly. You're going to be bigger. You're going to look like you're bigger than the height that I'm going to select. It's going to be very intimidating. You're going to get, you know, you're going to take up more space, just like being a mascot. Overall, better. It's not when you go slight and all that stuff, it's not going to help you slide through screens better. Um, it could be different this year, but me and personally, I, I like I like intimidating bitch niggas. I want this big ass little spammer. You feel me? So look, I wanted to go six six. I love six six last year. I think that was the best height for lockdowns. But oh nah, you feel me? Um, here's here's the variation. You can go six seven or six six, right? The only thing with six seven is you might possibly be too clunky to like guard um the the super gods right but um six six you definitely will, will will be there because if they got the gym rat you know they already confirmed the the you know, plus four attributes then it's plus five so it's plus nine you get 99 speed and 99 acceleration but with the six seven actually cut out everything i said because i didn't even touch the weight yet but me personally i'm gonna go six seven with this build right let me go ahead and mess with everything else for you so we're gonna go 188 right um yeah so you get your speed and your acceleration we're going to go max wingspan so look the reason i went six seven is so i can get um still 99 speed and my acceleration will be 97, right? So if you are too much worried about speed with the, when it comes to the acceleration, you can do 6.6, six, so you have 99 on both. It's personally up to you, but I'm gonna I'm go ahead and make my boy 6.7, my boy. And you're gonna be able to dog out centers, all that other stuff, cause you got max wingspan, pretty high vertical, and um, you get contact dunks right here. Uh, I don't know if the 6.6 six version gets this. I think it does. Um, but you go with the 81. When you make your builds and you're trying to get the elite contact dunks, um, 81, so it's 85 once you get 99. Um, Y'all can make variations to these builds. If you can't hold 99, I can for all my builds. So I'm like different. But um, yeah, bro. Uh, 76 ball handle. So, um, you're going to be able to speed boost, my boy. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, y'all, oh, yeah. You're going to be able to speed boost, my boy. Oh, yeah. Speed going to be a 99. Ball control 76. I don't know what exact overall you're going to be able to speed boost. But for me personally, bro, this is, this is nice, bro. This is, this is going to, this is overall, I think, will be the best, safest lockdown to make. If you suck. I said, if you, if you suck and you're casual, I wouldn't suggest this build. I would suggest the perimeter perimeter lock that I'm going to be making in a couple more videos. So make sure y'all turn on post notice. And this is the build name that, that you get, man. When you plug all this in, you can go slash or a lock. I'm going to personally go lock. You are the two-way finisher. I don't know how you're this Kirk bum. I don't know how you're John Wall. I don't know how you're Jamal Murray, bro, but hey, <laughs> 2K, what is the point of this shades of similar of, what is the point when it's not accurate at all? It's crazy. But anywho, I'm gonna show y'all the best badges I'll, I'll most likely rock in 21. Y'all uh, comment down below, what, who do you think I resemble the most in the NBA? You could rock something like this with the eight badges or something like this. Or if fancy footwork is OP, something like this. Personally, all up to you, bro. I showed y'all three, four variations. For the shooting badges, corner specialist gold, unless 2K Labs says silver is better. 
me personally i would rock something like this um don't put your hot zone on until you get a hot zone right so you can rock different badges till then but personally once you get this you're gonna upgrade the corner and then you catch and shoot corner will always be better than catch and shoot bro i promise you even in this game it will be the same most likely um you can't do not max out green machine bro you're you're not getting you're not getting three plus goddamn threes a game bro like unless niggas is just ass on your team i don't know personally you could just have it at bronze you know and clutch shooter because people start to help off more if you have like isoers or whoever running the pg position or they start trying to shut down the the center later on in the game they try to make the lock shoot so clutch shooter will activate this is personally for the 3v3 and stuff like that and you know i, I would i would rock something like this test it out my boy you let me know see look now you get floor general my boy you help you help your teammates out you could rock something like this or something like this you know or maybe something like this personally up to you my boy um 20 badges you know you could you could mess with this all depends on how good tireless defender is that was a very clutch badge that you at least needed on silver you could test something like this um if you don't get the animations with uh for chase down and interceptor you know you could take them off you know play with it but i would most likely do something like this depending on how good every badge is pickpocket don't work you know you could take shit off this mess with it upgrade other stuff but yeah man anywho that's the end of the video make sure y'all subscribe if you're new turn on post notice like the video if this was um helpful and make sure y'all go watch my other build videos and um yeah man 2k21 coming out y'all let me know how excited y'all are my boy i'm out this hoe